Good morning, friends. Today's topic is R U T C R U C E R U C O R U C M T G Shipping X E D X A Question and Answer Part Three. Question number forty-one. As per the new regulation, S T C W Chapter Eight One Point Two, administration must establish preventing alcohol abuse. A limit is set not exceeding. Option A, 0.05 percentage blood alcohol. Option B, 0.3 milligram per liter in breath. Option C, 0.1 percentage blood alcohol. Option D, option 0.5 percentage 5 milligram per liter in breath. It is always talks about the percentage and also it consider with the blood. Alcohol content in the blood is taken as a valid lab test result. So, option A, 0.05 percentage of blood alcohol is considered as the minimum amount a person maximum amount a person should and contain in the body alcohol content present in the body as per SPCW. Option A is the correct answer for question number 41. Question number 42. What are the additional requirement on tankers for firefighting fixed firefighting system? Option A, deluge system. Option B, sprinkler system on lifeboat. Option C, emergency towing arrangement. The correct answer is option B, sprinkler system on lifeboat. The correct answer. This is asking about fixed firefighting system. Present on the tanker. What is the additional requirement? So additional requirement is in lifeboat there should be sprinkler system should be present on the lifeboat. In general, what is the additional system present on the tanker other than the uh, other ships is emergency towing arrangement. As per Solas chapter, it clearly mentioned that a ship should have emergency towing arrangement. A tanker should have emergency towing arrangement and talks about plenty things. It is also I put it in the tanker videos. Uh, Exit from questions I explain. Here it is asking firefighting medium. It is sprinkler system. If there is a see tanker, there is a chance of oil pollution. There is a chemical pollution, and then it is can lead to cause of fire on the water when you are abandoning the ship, or there is and there is a ship sinking. It will break and sink. Oil will be discharged to the land atmosphere. Sorry, to the water and atmosphere, it can get combustion. Once it get combustion, that area is fire. When you are lowering the lifeboat, you have to escape from the location. So at time, your lifeboat should not get fire. It should not undergo any fire hazards. So the lifeboat should have the external sprinkler, which is producing sprays of water, which is driven by the engine driven. Pump which will be supplying water to the sprinkler. It will be used when you are escaping from the ship to out moving away from the ship when there is a fire on the sides of the ships on the water. So option B is the correct answer for question number forty-two. Question number forty-three. Shaft tunnel requires option A drain, option B escape trunk, option C watertight door. Option D, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Shaft tunnel is the bottommost tunnel, which is extending from engine room to the propeller side. That is from the extreme aft stern frame to the main engine. That tunnel is called shaft tunnel. You can see mostly in the container ships. You can see the shaft tunnel engine. There will be some aft side, some seventh cargo hold, eighth cargo hold, ninth cargo hold will be there, and engine will be after fifth cargo hold can be can be present. So this long shaft, intermediate shaft from the engine to the propeller will be the propeller shaft, intermediate shaft shaft will be there. It is passes through the shaft tunnel. This shaft tunnel doors are supposed to be watertight doors, and there should be escape trunk. If there is flooded, you have to escape from the location. And there should be arrangement like train arrangement such as bilges, bilge well, and bilge alarm should be present. So, as per question number forty-three, option D, all of the above is a correct answer. 
question number 44 a fire started by a spontaneous combustion can be expected in a oily rags a stained clothing incorrectly stored option b clothing stored in contact with the electric light globe option c fats and oils on the galley store option d paint or any cleaning material stored in bushes now occur here there is a chances of firing oily rags is a combustible medium and it is also with a choked with oil there is a oil rags are present normally oil rags you can find it in the engine room the source of heat is available and it is in the atmosphere of normal air content of 21 percentage only if you get the heat source to adequate to cause a combustion it can lead to a fire hazard so if you are completing a fire triangle so option a is a correct answer for question number 44 Question number 45. At a distance of more than dash away from the land, it will be the responsibility of the country under whose flag each vessel registered to enforce the sulphur cap. Who is responsible for the ship releasing the sulphur cap? Is the flag state authority who has to check, who has to ensure it is within the limit. He has to check when the ship is 200 nautical miles away from the land. Option A. 100 nautical miles option b 150 nautical miles option c 200 nautical miles option d 250 nautical miles the correct answer is option c 200 nautical miles this is nothing but 200 nautical miles is nothing but you are crossing the exclusive economic zone e e z zone from your land till that e e z zone that Port state authority, the land, shore land, coastal land will be the responsible. They have the control of the ship, and they can arrest the ship once it is out of that 200 nautical miles. It will be in the international water, so the ship will be under inspection, control, check by the flag state administration. So option C is the correct answer for question number 45. Question number 46 da is the maximum deviation of any calibration point. Update for each either increasing or decreasing input from the best fit straight line having an overall minimum deviation. The correct answer is sorry question option A linearity option B rise time option C span option D none of the mentioned. The correct answer is option C span. Span is the one which is used. Span gas is the one. is already pre calculated gas which is used in the system in order to find any deviation of the value so option c is the correct answer for question number 46 question number 47 das on port state control adopted the principle of the new inspection regime in may 2009 during its 42nd committee meeting option a paris mou member Memorandum of Union, Option B, Indian Ocean MOU, Option C, Mediterranean MOU, Option D, Black Sea MOU. The correct answer is Option A, Paris MOU. Question number forty-eight. What is the material of impeller of a turbocharger compressor? Option A, water stainless steel. Option B, mild steel. option c aluminum silicon option d brass the correct answer is option c aluminum silicon it is light in weight and it is easy to turn and the more energy can be produced if it is easy to turn so aluminum silicon is a correct answer for question number 48 in order to achieve the maximum rpm once you achieve the maximum rpm other side the compressor blade will get More amount of water, sorry, air yeah, from the atmosphere get compressed inside the casing. So option C is the correct answer for question number 48. Question number 49. At what interval retention quantities to be entered on oil record book? Option A, monthly. Option B, fortnightly. Option C, weekly. Option D, daily. Your oil record book. What is the content of the tank? Each tank, how how much it is? What is the capacity? How much it is retention? How much oil is present? How how much sludge is present in each tank has to be recorded in oil record book. 
on weekly basis it is a requirement of marble annex 6 sorry marble annex 1 regulation so option c weekly is the correct answer for question number 49 what information can you find on the fire control plan option a when uh, wherever the master can be reached in case of emergency option b how to use the fire fighting appliance as correctly how c how to respond in case of fire option d option d the location of firefighting appliances fire control plan is nothing but it was showing the general arrangement of the ship and location of the fire extinguisher fire hydrant and sprinkler systems the smoke detector heat detectors it will showing only the location so, option D, the location of the firefighting appliances is the correct answer for question number 50, fire control plan. Question number 51, to extinguish a fire in a ship and in the galley, you would, option A, use the fire hose, option B, throw water over it, option C, use the fire blanket, option D, allow it to burn out on its own. The correct answer is use the fire blanket. If there is a fire on the galley on the pan, if you're using water, the oil will be splashed over. The water get boiled off at the temperature, it will be burst. If when you're putting water droplets, it will get burst. You cannot use the water, it will enhance the fire, it will enrich the fire. So you should use a fire blanket over the pan, black like a smoking effect. Cut off the oxygen to the fire. So option C is the correct answer for question number 51. Question 52. Instruction for onboard maintenance of life saving appliances shall be easily understood and illustrated wherever possible. Which of the following items do not necessarily have to be included in the instruction according to present regulation? Option A. List of replaceable parts. Option B. Schedule for periodic maintenance. Option C. Log for records of inspection and maintenance. Option D. Check list of periodic inspection. The correct answer is option A. List of replaceable parts. It is not required to be mentioned as per NSP life saving appliances. The thing which is not to be mentioned is not required. It is option A. List of replaceable part. It is not required to mention anywhere. I have to record it. Okay, what part I change all these things, but you have to mention in the logbook when you carried out inspection, what maintenance you have carried out, but you have to be mentioned it. So, question number 42, option A is the correct answer. Question number 53, among the amendments adopted in the STCW money law convention were option A, new requirements relating to training in modern technology such as electronic charts and information system, if this. Option B, new training and certification requirement for ETO, electrotechnical officer. Option C, updating of competence requirement for personal survey, surveying on board all types of tankers, including new requirement for personal surveying on liquefied gas tankers. Option D, all of the above. So, what are the mentioned earlier? These are in the STCW Manila Amendment, they say this has to be adopted. You have to go through it, follow it. So option D, all of the above is the correct answer for question number 53. Question number 54, as per the low line convention, exemptions may be considered for sister vessel provided the light ship particular based on a light ship survey by the RO is within the limits prescribed in the Intact Stability Code 2008 as amended. Option A, inclining test. Option B, zigzag manual test. Option C, pullout manual test. Option D, turning circle test. The correct answer is option A, inclining test. Inclining test is nothing but the metacentric height, GM test. In order to identify the metacentric height, you will be taking one load on the shape, on the dead shape, and you will be like, moving a weight from one location to another location then you will be calculating how much the ship is listed at trim and all other the change of center of gravity from its original position new position this all be measured 
if you measure for the parent vessel it is not required to measure for the sister vessel which is having the same little of all death weight everything so uh, load load line is same then uh, it is not required so option a inclining it experiment is the correct answer for question number 54 the algebraic difference between the indicated or observed value and the true value of the measured is the option a range option b overshoot option c error option d none of the mentioned the correct answer is option c error the actual value observed value and the true value that means what the value is supposed to be correct value if there is a difference that means that measuring unit is working error it's not proper there should be correction adjustment has to be made so option c error is the correct answer for question number 55 question number 56 what statement about immersion suits is true option a immersion should immersion suits should be worn while performing routine work on deck option b no stowage container for immersion suit may be capable of being locked Option C. During the annual maintenance, the front zipper should be lubricated using light machine oil or mineral oil. Option D. Any tear or leak will render the suit unserviceable and it must be replaced. If your immersion suit is damaged, it can worn out, broke, cracked. I mean, if it is worn out, damaged, and it is tear and wear is there. Then you cannot use that life uh, emotion suit in an emergency condition. So it, uh, it is become unserviceable. You have to replace it. Question number 56, option D is a correct answer. Question number 57, minimum number of rocket parachute flags required to be carried on board is option A, 12, option B, 10, option C, 14, option D, 6. The correct answer is option A. 12. It says that ship's rocket, at least 12 parachute rocket should be present as per solar section 3.1. You have to keep that two float uh, it should be present in it. Okay. Four rocket parachute, six flare guns should be present inside the lifeboat four parachute should be in lifeboat four parachute should be in life wrap and remaining parachute should be on the bridge so the correct answer is 12 question number 57 option a is the correct answer question number 58 exhaust gas grouping is required in case of turbo charging in order to option a constant pressure prevent shock wave generation Option B, pulse pressure prevents interference with scabbing of other cylinder. Option C, constant pressure prevents interference with scabbing of other cylinder. Option D, pulse pressure prevents shock wave generation. The correct answer is option B, pulse pressure prevents interference with scabbing of other cylinder. This is normally used in four stroke engine. Four stroke engine, every stroke is not a Combustion stroke. Alternate stroke is a combustion stroke. Alternate stroke is a scavenge, com scavenging and compressing stroke. So the process is not continuous. There will be changes. So you have to group the exhaust gas from each cylinder. Like 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 6. You will group to two units and put it in the, bring it together to the turbocharger. Not, not all six units to the same place. 3-3 three, three unit we group it sometimes 2-2 two, two units sometimes 3-3 three, three unit is depends upon number of cylinders of the generator so option b is a correct answer excess gas grouping for the four stroke engine in order to for the interference with the scavenging of other cylinders option b is a correct answer for question number 58 question number 59 at what interval four stroke engine connecting or bolts are renewed Option A, above 50,000 hours. Option B, when the bolts are showing maximum allowable elongation. Option C, above 25,000 hours. Option D, when the bolts are broken down or sheared. The correct answer is, when the bolts are shown maximum allowable elongation. But so many websites, so many videos, they are telling option D is the correct answer.
answer one if first is as per yanmar manual it is clearly says that if if it is there is no elongation there is no damage it is looks normal also if the bolt comes under the working hour period of 20000 hours used on the engine then you have to remove and replace the connecting rod bolts so here it is they given 25000 hours so it is not possible before that it will you have to change so you will be carrying an oiliti test elongation check the length of the bolt everything will be measured if it is found that the bolt is elongated you have to replace it because after getting elongated then only it will go to broken down or shed off before that when you find the elongation itself beyond the limit you have to change it so option b is a correct answer for question number 50 i some of the website it is strongly mentioned the incorrect answers so option b is a correct answer please proceed with this question number 60 Which of the following convention is also known as a minimum standard convention? Option A, Maritime Labor Convention. Option B, ILO Convention Number no. One Forty Seven. Option C, STCW Convention Nineteen Seventy Eight. Option D, STC Convention Nineteen Seventy Five. STCW Convention is is a convention which was amended and adopted in adopted in Nineteen Seventy Eight. So Nineteen Seventy Five is not an adopted time period. So our Option C, STCW Convention 1978 is the correct answer. Most of the website they mention ILO Convention Number no. 147 is correct answer. Option B, they are telling it's correct answer. No, it is not the correct answer. STCW Standard Training Certification Watchkeeping. The minimum standard of training certification watchkeeping is mentioned in STCW Convention. So as per the question 60, option C is the correct answer. Please. I'll choose the answer C. STCW 1978, the minimum standard convention. Okay, okay, friends. I try to explain all the answers in a good explanation, as this is related to your marine engineering field and also to the solar smart board annexes. The explanation is little wider than what I expected. And I like to thank you for the people who are supporting my channels and like my channels and giving some comments. and also i like to inform you that if you like my video please click like and also if you want to see future videos related to the exit exams or to the marine field or any good explanation of the marine engineering it will be updated in my channel so i kindly request you to subscribe my channel if you want to be get updated with the whatever i mention exit exams questions with explanation so on so and other marine related topics if you want to put any comments suggestions any doubts or anywhere if my answer is wrong you want to update it or you want me to correct it you can put it in the comment box thank you